Hello Performance Ninja! I hope you had a fun time working on the loop interchange to lab assignment. Congratulations to you if you were able to achieve the required speed up and if you just want to see the solution, continue watching this video. Okay, so I built the benchmark and the first thing that I do is to characterize the workload so that I'm sure that I'm fixing the right thing. So here we go. You can see that 50% of the execution resources were wasted while waiting for the data. That's pretty bad. Now let's find the hotspot of our program. You can do it with a regular profiler like perf record. Another way would be actually to use this minus minus run sample option which will allow to find the code locations that contribute the most to this memory bound metric. In this case, it doesn't matter which option you choose. They both will point you to the same line of code. Which is this one. Now let's go and find this line in the code and understand what's going on there. So here is this line which is inside the loop nest and on this line we have two memory access one to the array input and one to the array kernel access to kernel is actually okay but access to the input array is not since every time we increase i the location gets shifted by width which is the width of the image which can be relatively a big number. So let's see how we can deal with it. And the first step here is to realize that this line of code is actually inside the three nested loops. And inside the outermost loop, which iterates over C, there are three independent parts. First and third loops process pixels on the border of the image. And the middle loop, which is the heaviest one, processes all the other pixels and so since we have three independent parts we can distribute the outer loop into the three separate loop nests And before we can proceed, let's actually validate the benchmark and make sure we didn't break the code. Okay, so validation successful and now we can move on. Okay, that's good. Now let's think how we can improve the memory access pattern here. If we will make the loop over R to be the innermost, it actually won't make a difference, right? We will still have the same strided access. So we need to interchange this loop nest so that the loop over C will become the innermost. And so from here, we will follow the same idea that I described in the introductory video. We need to make those three loops perfectly nested in order to interchange them. From this point, I will not explain every change I make in great details. You can rewatch the previous video to understand the concept but I encourage you to pause the video and repeat all the steps yourself. We start with widening the accumulator. Okay, the validation succeeded and now we can distribute the middle loop since there are no cross iteration dependencies inside it. Now, let's actually widen the accumulator even further. Notice that I allocated the memory for dot dynamically, since otherwise there will be a stack overflow. So now we can actually distribute our loop nest into two separate loop nests.
So now we can already interchange loops over C with loops over R. This already made the second loopness to perform sequential memory access, and that's great. So now let's fix the first one. So now we will distribute the middle loop in the first loop nest. Now we distribute the outermost loop in the first loop nest. Notice that the benchmark still validates. It means that we didn't break anything. And now we actually finally can interchange the problematic loops. So this code already runs much, much faster than the baseline, but still there are a few things we can further improve. And first of all, let's fuse the outermost loops in those three loop nests. And then the final step, what we can make, is actually to reduce the amount of memory needed by moving this dot inside the outermost loop. And so by doing all the changes that I just showed you, we were able to decrease the runtime more than 10 times. And you see that we are not bound by memory anymore. All right, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next lab assignment.